how are you? I'm just just great. Well, I appreciate I was the you. First, first, first person down at uh, City Hall to, to file for mayor this morning. Well, and congratulations to you. You are going to be on the ballot. You are going to run for mayor, and I, I'm glad you were able to check in this morning because we've been uh, talking about this a little bit. Uh, let me just ask you, uh, first of all, because you've been down this road before, two terms, Number eight time. years as mayor of Springfield. Uh, why now, and why, uh, why are you the right guy for the job at this time in Springfield? Well, first of all, I think the city is in a total and complete mess. And what the city needs is someone to provide leadership, someone who has integrity, and someone who, in fact, has the ability to manage city government. I think that one of the things that I bring is not only a, the professional background, but also the ability to actually deal with the problem. I'm not looking to, to make a career out of uh, city government. I'm looking to serve for a four-year period of time to actually deal with the problems, to put the city's financial house in order, to deal with the job situation that we have in the city of Springfield and Sangamon County, to do everything we can to create and, most importantly, retain the existing jobs that we have put the city's financial house in order and you can't spend more than you're taking in and then to deal with the basic services of, of city government and making sure that we do an excellent job in providing those and that is police and fire services as well as the basic uh, functions of our public works department and to deal with the infrastructure problems that this community has not dealt with in 20 years. Now, Mr. Mayor, how would this then translate? You talk about the leadership ability to manage here. Specifically, what would be different under your leadership as opposed to the current administration? Well, I would point out that in fiscal year 2009, which ended on February 28, 2009, when the city put together their budget in the general fund, which is this fund that pays for the services of the city of Springfield, they had $100 million worth of revenue and they had expenditures of $108 million. And they basically had a cash flow fund within the city reserves of $16 million, and they spent $8 million of those funds to balance the budget. And then the next year they couldn't figure out whether they were $12 million out of whack when they went to put the budget together. You can only spend what you're taking in. And I think that one of the things we have to be able to do is to right-size city government we can only spend what we have, and we need to get away from dealing with furloughs and plan for the future and to lay out a plan where, in fact, we can provide the basic services for the city of Springfield. And I think that we can not only do that, I think we can do a better job of providing those services. Have you identified some of the areas where you would cut or where you would get rid of, uh, presumably we're talking about personnel here, manpower, because that's the one of the biggest expenses of City Hall. I think that as you take a look at, at city government, it has become a political operation, and I think that there are a number of political hacks within city government that we can get rid of and not affect the operations of city government at all. And I think that we can then take that money and either reduce the expenditures within city government, which needs to be done, or take that money and take part of it and actually improve the services that we're providing. Given your long business background, does that give you an edge in trying to recruit more business to Springfield and bring more jobs with them? I think that there is no one that's going to be in this race that has more experience in terms of the economic development area than myself. And being someone who actually owned and operated his own small business, who has 35 years of management experience in the, the private sector, I think that I can create an environment where we will welcome and we will work with anyone that wants to come to this community to create jobs or to make an investment. One last question. We're almost out of time here. You've got a campaign website up. It has really at this point just a video on it. That video references you as a new face for Springfield. Can you accurately call yourself that given that you were already mayor of this community 30 years ago? Well, you know, that's correct. I was mayor 30 years ago, and it actually was 30 years ago that I was elected, about 22 years in, in terms of uh, actually having served. But I think that I am a much different person today 
than what I was when I left office in 1987. I've grown, I've learned a lot, and I think that I can take not only the experience I've had, but again, what I have learned in the almost 24 years since I've, I've left City Hall and put that to work. And I think that if someone just simply took a look at my background and experience and forgot the fact that I had been in City Hall before, they would think that I had the qualifications to walk in. Having been there before, I'm a guy who can hit the ground running on day one. And that's exactly what I plan to do. The former and he hopes future mayor of Springfield, Mike Houston, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Looking forward to covering you throughout this election season. Jim, you have a good day. Appreciate it very much. It's now 8.55 here on The Jim Leach Show.